Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my deep conditioning routine. The reason why I'm showing you guys my deep conditioning routine is because I do this once a week, every single week. It's the biggest part for how I have grown my hair so fast and very long, thick, and healthy from the last time I cut my hair, which is almost a year ago. If you were just struggling through your natural hair journey, I guarantee you deep conditioning will help that or it will help aid to whatever the bigger issue is. Whenever anyone DMs me on Instagram or comments down below and they need help with something with their hair, the first thing I ask them is, do you even deep condition once a week? Do you own a deep conditioner? Do you implement deep conditioning into your routine? Because if you do not, I can guarantee you, your hair is not at its healthiest state that it could be at right now. Deep conditioning does so many amazing things for your hair and your scalp. I cannot even say all of them. And also make sure you're using an oil while you deep condition. Even if you have fine hair, just a couple drops, make sure you put it throughout your scalp, apply your deep conditioner, and that is great. If you guys would like to see my deep conditioning routine, then keep watching. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I only deep condition once a week because I only shampoo my hair once a week. And this is how long my hair is when it's just damp, no product. This is basically as long as my hair gets because there's no product, so it's really not that curly. But yeah, my hair is growing super fast and I will have a hair challenge coming up soon for you guys to help grow your hair faster, so stay tuned for that. So the only thing I use is this Tangle teaser brush, there's hair in it, but it's their ultimate detangling brush. And the deep conditioner I'm using is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with cocoa and mango butter. I picked this one for today's video because I really like this mask. The last few deep conditioners I used for like the past month were all really moisturizing ones. So this one is strengthening, so I'm gonna be using that. I'm going to be using the HG hair oil from Kin Essentials. I've been using this oil lately. I ran out of my curls, men and scalp treatment oil a little while ago like I used the last of it in a hot oil treatment so I've been using this one from Kin Essentials and I think it's been doing pretty good and of course you're gonna need some water and also a clip because I like to section my hair when I apply my deep conditioners because I saturate my hair so I'm just gonna section from ear to ear and clip the top up so starting with just this section I'm just gonna split it in half and I'm gonna take this hair oil and I'm going to apply this oil right here onto my scalp because I have a dry scalp and I love using oils in my hair it just helps to make sure my scalp is healthy because my scalp is really dry and i'm also trying to grow my hair so using oils are an amazing thing for that and then after i apply the oil everywhere i'm just going to gently so you don't cause tangles just massage the oil in everywhere now it's time to apply the deep conditioner i'm just going to spray my hair with some water And I love this deep conditioner so much. I love all of Camille Rose's products. I use their conditioner in the shower to tangle. I'm just gonna take this much. It is a lot of product, but my hair really needs the strengthening properties of this mask, so I'm just gonna be heavy handed. Then I'm just gonna rake it through. And then I'm just taking my tangle teaser and I'm only taking my tangle teaser just to get the product through everywhere because if you don't use a brush while you deep condition, I recommend you should. It just gets the product everywhere. Okay, and it's in. And what I'm going to do is do a finger coil basically and just like twist my hair into one big coil. And then I'm gonna take a little more of the deep conditioner and put it on my ends because I haven't cut my hair in almost over a year. So I'm trying to give my ends as much love as possible because I'm growing up my hair and I really don't wanna cut it. So I'm just gonna do that and do the same exact thing to my entire head. And look at how long my hair is getting. I think it's crazy. Like, it's not even in the frame. It's getting that long already. And literally a couple months ago, when my hair was wet, it was right here. And now it's already right there. So all I'm saying is scalp massages with oils. Use good products and deep condition once a week and your hair will grow like crazy.
Another thing I started doing recently with deep conditioning is if it's my moisture deep conditioners, I've been leaving it in for a couple days. So I'd apply it everywhere, just brush it through, and then I just let it dry in my hair, just leaving it in and really just letting it absorb into my hair. And it worked pretty well. I've only done it like two or three times. I'm not gonna do that like every single time I deep condition because I know it's not the best and you need to keep a protein moisture balance. So I'm still like seeing what will work, what will not work, what not to do with deep conditioning because it's really no rules other than apply a moisturizing or strengthening deep conditioner and leave it in. Okay, so the only thing I did with the top part, just to help with like flat roots, because I always have a middle part, and if my roots will get flat every once in a while, I just like to brush this part back with my deep conditioner in, so my hair isn't just laying in its natural part. And now by the time I'm done, like the twist already came unraveled, and I just do the twist so it's out of the way while I apply the entire deep conditioner. And now I'm just gonna run my fingers through to make sure it's all everywhere and I know that there's not a spot that wasn't coated. And now I'm just gonna take my hair and I'm just gonna put it in a regular three strand braid just to make sure my hair is out of the way because usually while I deep condition, I'll either edit or do schoolwork and I hate having my hair in my way. So by just putting it in a braid just helps to keep it out of the way. Okay, so now my hair is in the braid and if I'm just leaving this in for like 10 minutes, I'll put a shopping bag on my head. But since I'm not, I'm just gonna leave this in for like 40 minutes. I am not going to put a shopping bag on just because it's really not necessary and I'm gonna let this sit in my hair and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I rinse it out. Okay, I just rinsed it out. My hair is still really wet, but I wanna show you guys before my hair dries up and starts to get all crazy. This is how my hair looks. You can see it looks a lot more moisturized and it does feel a lot more strengthened. My hair is not as frizzy and my hair was pretty soft before I did this, but now kind of has that strength back and yeah so this is how my hair looks this is my deep conditioning routine sometimes i'll leave it in like all day because i really don't feel like styling my hair but days where i'm going to style my hair and i shampoo once a week and i deep condition once a week this is what i do but this deep conditioner never fails to impress me it always works really well and i think deep conditioners just use any basic deep conditioner just make sure you're following the directions because if it has protein you don't want to leave it in all day if it doesn't have protein i mean it doesn't hurt to leave it in too much but just be careful so you don't get moisture overload. I will show you guys how my hair looks after styling it and after it's dry. So this is how my hair looks after styling. I just styled with a leave-in conditioner and a cream and I let my hair air dry. And you guys can see how long my hair is getting. It's getting pretty long, pretty fast. And look how thick and healthy my hair is. So you can see my hair is already really thick, but it is getting thicker and my hair is getting longer and that is really to deep conditioning. Deep conditioning just gives your hair that extra boost that you didn't even know it needed, but it needs at least once a week. You can deep condition twice a week if you want, but if you're only doing it like once a month, I really recommend doing it multiple times. And if you guys are wondering what deep conditioners that you should use, I recommend, of course, the Camille Rose Naturals deep conditioner that I used in this video. Also, this deep conditioner from BioCare Labs, the Curls and Naturals Conditioning Repair Mask. I just have this one on my desk because I did use this 
a week ago so i wanted to show you guys that i do have a video with all of my favorite hair products and that does have some of the other deep conditioners another one i would recommend is the tgin rose water hair mask that one is really good and lightweight and it's perfectly amazing for all the little porosity girls out there or men and yeah if you guys are not deep conditioning make sure to deep condition you can make diy deep conditioners i'll do a couple videos on that when i get all the materials for it. just deep condition once a week and your hair will drastically improve if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you deep condition once a week if you don't you better deep condition once a week because if not your hair is not going to be at the healthiest that it can be and make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram if you haven't already i'll see you guys next time bye